here's the bookstore example in a, in a slight different format. Some parts were highlighted and we left some spaces for our work. We will write down the objective and the constraints in English first. Now this bookstore has 40 paperbacks and 65 hardcovers and it needs at least 80 copies of each. Uh, so let's write that down. Paperback needs at least 80, have 40. So need at least 40 more. And hardcover needs at least 80 again and have 65. So need at least how many more? Oh, okay, 15 more. Now at least here implies you need to have a greater than equal to type constraint. So you gotta say something like some quantity is greater than equal to 40 and some other quantity is greater than equal to 15. So those quantities are number of additional books to receive or we could write the two constraints as something like this in English. Number of additional paper backs should be greater than equal to 40 and number of additional hardcovers must be greater than equal to 15. Now this part here, you would like to have as many copies as possible. This must translate to an objective function because you want to maximize the number of copies. So we might write it as maximize total number of books available for sale tomorrow. Here it says the warehouse could deliver up to 10 boxes of books for sale tomorrow. So can deliver up to 10 boxes of books. That must mean total number of boxes to deliver must be up to, so that's less than or equal to 10. Now here it tells you the composition of books in the two types of boxes, the paperback boxes and the hardcover boxes. Paperback boxes each hold six copies of the paperback. So paperback box has six paperback books. Now the hardcover boxes, strangely enough, have both hardcovers and paperbacks. So hardcover box has five hardcover books and two paperback books. Another way of writing this is maybe in a table format like this. Paperback boxes, hardback boxes, paperback books, hardcover books, and we could say paper boxes of six paperback books, so that's six but no hardcover books and the hardcover boxes have five hardcover books and two paperback uh, books. That's another way of summarizing the data. Now here it says the warehouse has only seven hardcover boxes it can ship. So there's a limit to the number of hardcover boxes that could be shipped. So you might say number of hardcover boxes must be less than or equal to seven. The last line is the decision question. What should the warehouse ship in order to best address the store's needs? The next step is write down the decision variables. Remember the decision variables are the quantities that you could control that influence the objective and the constraints. The decision variables are what the question is asking for. What should the warehouse ship in order to best address the store's needs? But the problem is it doesn't say specifically what kind of things. There are books and there are boxes of books. So which one do we need to decide on? Is it the books or the boxes? To answer this, remember that decision variables are the quantities that we could control. So for instance, let's see what kind of quantities the objective depends on. The objective is to maximize the number of books available for sale tomorrow. So this total number of books available for sale. Now this quantity depends on what? 
well, on how many books of each kind the bookstore receives. So the number of books of each type, that is, the number of paperback books and the number of hardcover books. Do you get to decide on the numbers of these books? Well, not directly. The numbers of books here depend on the boxes of books. That is a number of different types of boxes that are shipped. The paperback boxes and hardcover boxes. These are the quantities, the numbers of boxes shipped of each kind, are something that the warehouse can control and get to decide. So these are going to be our decision variables. So we could say let p equal to number of paperback boxes shipped and h equal to number of hardcover boxes shipped. Now that we have identified and given names to our distant variables, we could write down the objective and the constraints in terms of these decision variables. As you know, the mathematical expressions here will be linear, which means it will be in the form of coefficient times a variable plus coefficient times a variable, and so forth. It's helpful to use a coefficient rule, which says to translate a quantity into the mathematical expression, we could figure out the coefficient for each variable as follows. For a variable, say x, ask by how much will the quantity, like the you know, objective or the left-hand side of the constraint, increase if x is increased by one unit while the other variables remain unchanged? The answer to this question is the coefficient of x. So that is, increase in the quantity from one unit increase in the x value. You could also think of the coefficient as a contribution to this quantity from one unit of x. Let's see how we would apply it here. Remember for the objective, we have maximize the total number of books available for sale tomorrow. So let's try to write this down in terms of p and h. The total number of books available would be the number that's already there plus the number that it would be shipped. So remember there were 40 paperbacks available and 65 hardcover books already at the store. So total number would be 40 plus 65 plus the total additional books. So that would be 105 books plus total additional number of books. So it would be some coefficient times p plus another coefficient times h. To figure out the coefficient for p here, we ask if p is increased by 1, that is, if there's one more paperback box, what will that do to the total number of additional books? That is, what is the increase in the additional books due to having one more paperback box? Well, we know that one paperback box holds six paperback books, so it's six is the additional number of books. So that's it, six. And for the coefficient of h, we ask if we have one more hardcover box, what is the increase in the total number of additional books? Well, hardcover box has five hardcover books and two paperback books, which is five plus two is seven, so seven books. So if you ship one more hardcover box, they would add seven books to the number available. So the answer here would be seven. So the objective function can be expressed as 105 plus 6p plus 7h, but we don't have to include this number of books that are already there and just say we want to maximize the total number of additional books that will be shipped. So we could say we want to maximize 6p plus 7h. Now let's write down the constraints we already expressed in terms of the decision variables p and h. Remembering the relationship between the boxes and the books. The first constraint we wrote down was that the total number of additional paper bags had to be greater than or equal to 40. We could write the left-hand side as 
some coefficient times p plus some coefficient times h, greater than equal to 40. Now we ask, what is the contribution of one paperback box to the number of paperback books? One paperback box will give you six paperback books. So we would write six. One more paperback box means the number of paperbacks will increase by six, as shown here. And one more part cover box means the number of paperbacks will increase by, oh, there it is, by two. So put two here. So 6p plus 2h is greater than or equal to 40. Next constraint says number of additional hard covers must be greater than or equal to 15. So additional hard covers. So again, coefficient p plus coefficient h. Okay, what is the contribution of paperback box to the number of hard covers? Well, nothing because there is no hardcover book contained in the paperback box. So, zero. And what about the hardcover box? Well, that has five of those hardcover books, so its contribution is five. So one more hardcover box means five more hardcover books. And that has to be greater than or equal to 15. The next two constraints are very straightforward because they ask about the numbers of boxes, you know, not the numbers of books. So total number of boxes to, to ship or deliver, well, there's two kinds of boxes, paperback boxes, hardcover boxes. So the total number of boxes would just be the sum of the two quantities, number of paperback boxes plus the number of hardcover boxes, that's total number of boxes, greater than or equal to 10. And the last one, number of hardcover boxes, well, that's just a variable h, less than or equal to 7. Here is a complete linear programming model with the decision variables p equal to number of paperback boxes shipped and h equal to the number of hardcover boxes shipped. We want to maximize the total number of additional books which is 6p plus 7h, subject to paperback requirement. The number of paperback books shipped must be greater than or equal to 40. Number of hardcover books shipped greater than or equal to 15. Total number of boxes shipped, p plus h, less than or equal to 10. And number of hardcover boxes shipped, less than or equal to 7. And the non-negativity at the end.